Hey, what's happening folks in interwebs? This is Pete with Backdraft Bikes. Check this out. Have you ever seen one of these? Look, CF Moto. We're gonna take out the Ibex 800, stick around. So this is the Ibex 800. It's a 790cc. The reps are telling me it is a rebranded KTM Husky Runner. Essentially, they're in a partnership with them. Here's the thing, the bike weighs 505 pounds, it's 96 horsepower. Here's the sticking point, it's $10,500. What? So, it, it's got some cues that make me remind, reminisce of my uh, BMW adventure, but I mean, this is, this is crazy, this bike. I mean, from the factory, 10.5, the only thing this bike doesn't come with is the panniers, but they have all types of different um, options you can get and uh, spoke tires, and they are tubeless, but they're not outer laced, so that's even more interesting. They actually kind of have an interesting uh, nut situation going where the spoke comes down. Um, dual front brakes from a brand I've never heard of. Uh, it is a chain drive, and yeah, I'm just curious how this is gonna work. I mean, it also has a really big display on it. That's bigger than the Beamer. It's got an adjustable windshield. From here, I can see that as well. So let's give this thing a rip, shall we? I've ne I've never even heard of these guys before right now. I know they make a lot of dual sports. Oh no. Can hang around, come back in a little while. Okay, it stopped raining again. And try this. All right, so it is raining and they've been giving us this rain hold thing all day, but we just stopped raining for a second and they're like, go ahead. So here we are. The Ibex 800 by CF Moto. It's an interesting bike so far. The, the thing you have to remember on this bike is that it is, uh, $10,499. So this is their top of the line bike. I've seen their side-by-sides quite a few times and they're pretty popular, but I've never really even seen their motorcycles at all. So this is a new, a new thing for me to try. bad for what this bike is my BMW adventure is almost double the price of this bike so you know you've got it you can only cut corners so far on these bikes so what do they do on this bike to make it more affordable than the other bikes uh, I can see you know a lot of the suspension and everything is all in-house manufactured but like this is this has adjustable suspension on it manual adjustment not electronic obviously the sales guy was telling me that KTM and Husker Varner they all have a they all have a <laughs> turkeys they all have a partnership with this so this is the 790 edition it's the same as the other ones except rebranded for CF Moto and CF Moto is a Chinese based company right so we know that so their headquarters for this is in uh, Minnesota so again it's raining out right now I'm getting a chance to actually feel a dual sport in its element so to speak with the rain and I gotta tell you I have like zero protection uh, on this bike so as a dual sport you know you kind of want a little bit of protection I don't have much going on here for for that yes sir bad 
for power. Again, an A100 is nothing to really slosh about, but it isn't bad. This is in sport mode too, so I'm not gonna say this is neck snapping power, but it's definitely manageable. CF Moto is trying to make a big, uh, they're trying to make a big push right now in the United States on motorcycles. They have been making motorcycles for a while, but they've never been imported uh, to the US. So this is a new thing for them. This is a new market that they're trying to get into. The problem is, is this, the motorcycle market in the United States is a really tight market. Uh, you've got a lot of the big competitors already uh, so to, to enter in and, and actually be viable or profitable is difficult. So uh, as far as the adventure market goes, I mean, I would stack this up against the Triumph Tiger, um, maybe the BMW 850s, like the step down from the GS Adventures, the smaller ones. Um, we're going to execute a pretty sharp corner here. Stand by one. Unfortunately, I'm on a group ride and I've got a, the lead here is kind of slow. But it is wet and he doesn't want anybody to die. There we go. Thinking of the uh, the other bikes too that we would we would see in this market. Um, I don't know. Harley, the Harley Pan America, I mean, it's a, this is a, trying to go after the larger adventure bike market at a 1250. It's a little bit out of class with this one. But anyway, Super Tenere, that definitely is there, I would think. Uh, the Africa Twin, I think, is right there. So immediately right out of the gate, a few impressions on this bike, and I've got to chat with the guys a little bit. What CF Moto is trying to do is make an economical, fun-to-ride motorcycle that doesn't sacrifice everything on account of cost. So I've ridden some of the lowest of the low Chinese motorcycles, no name ones. I mean, they break. I don't even know if you can get parts for them. CF Moto is trying to emerge again as a competitor for some of the larger brands on as an economic option. So this bike uh, ride quality is decent right out of the box. Again, it's Nothing fancy for the suspension, but it does have a nice feel. Um, he told me they make risers for this bike. So there's lots of different options they have to make the bike feel a little bit more personalized. This one does have panniers on it, which is an, again is an option that they have. I like the riding position, but the seat is a little low for my liking, but that it that would be good for most average riders. Probably in the six foot range could easily handle this bike. My inseam is 35 inches and I have probably another three to four inches easily to be able to uh, extend my legs on the ground. So not a problem there at all whatsoever. While we're driving slow, just take the a moment to try to cycle through. The buttons on this bike are kind of interesting. We've got a cruise control thing up here with a slide switch. It's definitely unique. Um, I have a rocker switch here, which I don't even know what this does. Um, it doesn't actually seem to do anything. There's probably a way of making it do something, but it actually feels really cheesy, like it's almost broken. Um, oh, there we go. So you hit the set button. There we go. I can cycle through some things on the information side. So this has been averaging, let's see if I can see this. Yeah, so it doesn't actually give you MPGs. Has a gear shift indicator, which is nice. This also has a slipper clutch in it. Self-canceling turn signal, nice. Multi-function display here with the 
not only uh, tire pressure monitoring, which is good, but also range. So I'm at 200 miles of range left and the tank is one bar down from full. So you probably, I don't know, 250 easily on the range, which is on the lower end of the spectrum for an adventure bike, but not bad. The gentleman was telling me there's quite, actually quite a bit of things you can do with the settings on this bike too, but I, this actually doesn't have any uh, touchscreen ability either. That's the other thing I was checking. I don't know how to change the mode, which is kind of odd. Like it seems like there should be a button that makes it easy to change. So it definitely has the KTM feel to the engine. Definitely feels like the 790. Uh, it's pretty good torque down low, but really needs it needs to be revved a little bit. It's it's kind of shaky. I'd say anywhere's above the 4,000 to 4,500 RPM range is where it wants to be. You can hear the secondary open when you get on it. Um, everything, again, is drive-by wire on this as well, as most bikes are nowadays. So it has a nice throttle feel. I do like the display. It is easy to see the key elements. I've, I've got my um, trip meter. I've got my, I've got outside air temperature. I have a clock. I have a fuel gauge and a temperature gauge. Um, it would be nice to see an ETA range for the uh, fuel, but I don't see that. This also comes with heated seat and heated hand grips, but again, I have no idea how to turn those on. All right, let's try it. Good, it's got good power. Yeah, I like it. The guy's gonna yell at me because I passed him. It's got a good. It's got a good amount of power. I like it. Uh, stinking group ride I'd really like to flog the pony but it's not, it's not gonna be conducive to that do you have a CF moto I'd like to hear what you say give me a comment down below let me know what you think I don't know I for the price point I don't think it's that bad I've driven worse much worse even from bigger brands I'd like to hear your thoughts hook me up down below with a comment don't forget to subscribe and as always please ride safe out there